Welcome to another edition of Wildcat Weekly with head coach Sean Miller. Cats are headed for postseason play, starting with the Pac-12 tournament on Wednesday in Las Vegas. They'll face the Washington Huskies at 2.30 at T-Mobile Arena. Coach, uh, three full days between Saturday's game and then Wednesday's game against the same team you just played on Saturday. What, what do you do these three days in preparation for the Pac-12 tournament? Well, there isn't as much to do, uh, even if we wanted to, Brian, just because of, you know, what you said, it's, it's not only late in the year and, you know, we really try to monitor how long we're out on the, on the practice court, but because of the quick turnaround, Sunday was an off day, uh, today, Tuesday is a travel day. And, you know, yesterday was kind of that, that day that we usually in our PAC 12 weeks use as a recovery. Uh, but we're able to watch film and, you know, the fact that uh, that we just played them, our preparation, learning what we did and didn't do, uh, you know, it's pretty much in place. So I think it's as much concentration and learning from uh, our Saturday's game as it is the practice part of things. Could it be as simple as to go back, and you mentioned this after the game on Saturday, a better start, better shooting in the first half? I know there's a lot of other things that go into it, but could those be two really important factors in this game? You know, regardless of our attack, uh, you have to be able to make the shot that we get. And obviously we want to get good shots and we want to move the ball, but you want to get good shots and you have to make them. The other part of it is you, you just can't turn the ball over as much as we did against Washington on Saturday. 18 turnovers, or you know, let's look at it as 0 for 18 in terms of chances to score, but also they utilize their defense to create dunks, opportunities in transition for their offense. And they did that, especially in the first half. So, you know, playing with 10 or fewer turnovers, which we did the first time we played them in Seattle, and that's a big reason we won. You know, that and I think is, uh, is number one on our list. Doing a better job of moving the ball, taking care of the ball, and limiting our turnovers. All right, is that the biggest challenge in this game? And so what would be number two then facing Washington? I thought Washington had a game plan when they had the basketball to drive us. And uh, when they didn't drive us, they do a really good job of getting the ball into their big guy, Isaiah Stewart. Uh, he's a terrific player. He gets his own shots by offensive rebounding and through his own sheer effort running the court. But, you know, you have to guard him with the team. It's not one defender. And uh, you know, with Chase Jeter now able to play, you know, we have Ira Lee, Zeke Naji. Christian Coloco, Chase Jeter, Stone Gettings. We have um, really a plethora of big guys that we can mix in and then just the team part of things. So I think for us, uh, maybe doing a better job overall on him and trying to limit their drives, which we, we're a better defensive team. Our offense affected our defense at times in that first game. When the ball's not going in and you have turnovers, it can steal your mind, and it did for a segment of the game. And, you know, we talked to Brian about this as well. We were a much better overall team in the second half than we were in the first. Some of that was, you know, we had nothing to lose. Down 15, we played with effort. We pushed the ball. We took the same shots in the second half, made more, and uh, hopefully we can be more of that second-half team for the entirety here tomorrow. You mentioned to play with desperation in a positive way. Describe how you'd like to see that unfold on the court. Well, you want to play, um, you know, like you want to continue to, to uh, be alive in the tournament and knowing that when you lose from this point on, there's an ending. There's not another game. And, uh, and I'm talking about the Pac-12 tournament right now. So that can be a positive. When it becomes a negative is when sometimes individual players can tighten up or lose some confidence or make the game bigger than it needs to. And, I think, you know, having that middle ground is what we want to be. Six seniors uh, on your team, is there that sense of urgency because their college careers here, at least for probably five of them, Jake's got a chance to play elsewhere, but this may be it for them. I mean, in the next couple of weeks, do you sense that from them, that sense of urgency from them? You know, I do. Um, our team has, you know, wanted to win from day one. We've been a group that's practiced for the most part well. Uh, I think we have good intentions. Uh, we, we're a good team, and when you're a good team, you're going to lose a few. When you're that great team, that's when you go on long winning streaks, and I think what, that's what we've established. If we could get to the next level in terms of team basketball, it's going to be a more consistent group offensively. 
All right, can't let you go without uh, asking you about Zeke Naji, Nico Mannion, Dylan Smith, all honored by the conference this year and all well-deserved. Well-deserved. You know, Dylan Smith, honorable mention, all defensive team. Um, obviously, Nico and, and Zeke, those two guys are uh, our heart and soul in many ways. And for them to have the role on our team in their first year in college basketball and for them to perform the way they did, uh, Nico on the all-freshman team and being uh, an all-conference member, uh, is a great accomplishment. And Zeke to be the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year, I mean, all you have to do is look at the past winners to see the company that he's now in. And that's very well-deserved because his consistency from game one through game 31, uh, he's been as good of a freshman as maybe we've ever had here when you consider the role that he's had, the numbers, the minutes, uh, and, and how many games he's been able to play really well in. All right, Cats and Huskies, Wednesday, 2.30 in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching Wildcat Weekly.